Hi, my name is Joshua and in this video we're going to talk about how to implement Google Authentication with a payload backend and a Next.js frontend. I hope you worked through the last week's or last video because there we implemented how to implement Google Authentication with a payload backend and the setup for both is identical except for a few changes and in this video going, we're going only we are only going to go through the changes for the backend in comparison to that one so if you have not followed through the link is in the description please do it otherwise you can also follow this guide i put together where you can also copy uh, all the most important code you need to put into your project um, yes it's very simple just copy paste uh, the next thing is we are here in the back and the front end I'm simply going to demonstrate this to you. You click on login, log in with Google, and then we can choose an account. I'm going to choose this one now. You're logged in, there's this picture. Let's log out and try with a different account. Log in with my personal account, and we are now logged in. So how do we achieve this? In as I said in last week's tutorial, we implemented it for the backend and there's only one little small thing you need to change in the backend to work with your frontend. And that is in the server TS. We have the callback that is called from Google and this redirects in the last video to the admin interface. But this time we don't want it to redirect to the admin interface, but we want it to redirect to our frontend, which in this case is the localhost 3000 because then our front end gets the cookie and the JWT and with that we are basically already set. And in the front end we are going to implement or we implement a very simple auth context which is this one. In this auth context it's a simple um, react context we have a logout function which calls our backend and tells oh this JWT logged out remove the user from local storage, remove it from the state, uh, from the hook. And we have a refresh authentication with automatic, which automatically checks if there is a user then, or if there is a user token, if there is a user token, we want all the information about the user from our server and set a state. And then we simply return all of that, that you need in to include in your app.js like this. And then in your index.js, you can simply import or use the context auth context with our user. If he's there, we display the user data. And if he's not there, we display the login button. And we also have the login button itself here. Also something very important. You need to call the localhost 4000 oauth2 slash authorize URL, which is this one. This is where you tell Passport.js what of strategy you're using and this endpoint you also need to call from our front end. The last time, as you remember, we called this endpoint from our backend or like the front end of from our backend. And this time we're simply calling the same from our Next.js front end. And if you follow all of this, then you end up with a working Next.js Google authentication for payload. Okay, that's that for this video. I hope this was of use to you. You find all the links and all the documents in the description. If you have any suggestion for another video topic, please write it in the comments. And if you have any other question, please also write, in the, write it in the comments. Otherwise, next time we are going to talk about how to implement Google authentication with payload and capacitor.js on iOS. So see you the next time. Bye.